Backing up is a pain. Wouldn't it be nice to have a device that did it for you? On this episode of Gadget, we've got the Click Free from Storage Appliance Corporation. We'd like to thank our production sponsors, the University Catholic Center, the California Province of the Society of Jesus, and Gateway. Oh, by the way, did we mention that we're giving one of these away? Stay tuned. Hello, and welcome back to Gadget at thetechstop.net. It's a place where it's always time to get your geek on. I'm your host, Father Robert Bautlesser of the Society of Jesus. I'm a member of the California province of the Jesuits with the largest religious order in the Catholic Church, and we're here again in the Center for Apostolic Technology in Honolulu, Hawaii. Now, before we get to the tech, I want to again ask everyone out there to please go to thetechstop.net, the home of Gadget on the Internet, and if you can, register. It's a great way to find out the stories that we're tracking, the tech that we're finding, and uh, whatever else makes us chuckle. So if you've got a chance, and if you're an Uber geek, stop on by and say hi. Now let's get right to the tech. This week we're taking a look at another backup product. Now I know a couple of weeks ago we took a look at GoodSync, which was a software suite that did phenomenally well for what it was. It was a simple piece of lightweight client that allowed you to synchronize the data between your desktop and your laptop, or your laptop and your external hard drives, or your desktop and the cloud. It was just very versatile. But as we mentioned in that review, backup is a very personal thing, meaning that if you don't find a solution that works for you, that reminds you to back up the information that you need, well, then it's just not very good. This week, we're taking a look at a piece of hardware. Now, this is the click-free automatic backup from Storage Appliance Corporation. Now, just like the name implies, it's click-free. It's supposed to be automatic. It's supposed to be able to go out find the files that you need on your computer, and uh, we'll move them to your nice little USB enclosure. Now, we've had a couple of weeks to play with this, and this is what we found. The click-free automatic backup from Storage Appliance Corporation is a backup solution that integrates an auto-loading software backup suite and a USB hard drive enclosure. The click-free that we received was their HD801 160GB multi-PC unit. This version of the ClickFree allows you to back up up to 10 different PCs on a single device, each with their own file and directory structure. Out of the box, the ClickFree comes with a ClickFree enclosure, a USB cable with dual ends, and a quick start guide. That's it. There's no additional hardware or software required to back up your PC. The unique selling point of the ClickFree and the feature from which it gets its name is that there is no software to install and no hardware that you have to configure before you back up. The ClickFree has been designed to connect and be powered via your computer's USB port, automatically scan the computer for data files, and copy them all to the hard drive without the user having to lift a finger. The ClickFree itself doesn't look much different from any USB enclosure. It uses a 2.5-inch 5400 RPM hard drive with 8 megabytes of cache. It can be powered entirely through the USB cable or, if you have a PC with the non-standard USB port, through the 5-volt power socket. At 4.5 inches by 3 inches by half an inch, the ClickFree weighs about half a pound. Small, light, and easy to pack. Using the ClickFree is really quite simple. Connect the device to your Windows 2000 XP or Vista computer and let the software auto run. Assuming that you don't have overly restrictive security policies on your computer, this will automatically happen without as much as a mouse click or keystroke on your part. Once the software launches, it will scan your computer for data files including documents, spreadsheets, pictures, videos, and the like, essentially anything that looks like personal data. Having located the files, ClickFree will begin copying those files to the hard drive, giving you a status bar so you can estimate how much time is needed to complete the job. You can now sit back and let ClickFree complete its job, finishing the backup and preserving your files on the ClickFree hard drive within their original directory structures. Those files have now been saved under the network name of your computer so that you can differentiate them from the files backed up from other workstations. From that point on, when you connect the ClickFree to that particular computer, the software will only update the files that have changed, meaning that each subsequent backup should take a fraction of the time. Clicking the Options button will allow you to enter into the various support screens of the ClickFree software. In the Manage Settings and PCs tab, you will find an at-a-glance view of the hard drive contents, including how much storage is being used by each backup and how much free space remains. 
For those who need a little more flexibility in determining which files the click-free software will back up, the Manage Settings and PCs tab also has a button for changing backup settings. The software gives you a list of file extensions that it will automatically try to copy. By default, ClickFree will recognize and back up over 350 different file types. You can select or deselect the various text documents, spreadsheets, presentation files, photos, drawings, multimedia files, financial databases, emails, favorites, and other popular file formats. You can also add custom file extensions to make ClickFree search for unknown or new file types. In the Restore tab, you will find all the PCs that have been backed up on the ClickFree and have the option of restoring all of the files or just a few selected ones. We tried the Restore function and it never failed to replace a backed up file within its original directory. In the Tools tab, you have the ability to reset the device, update the embedded ClickFree software, and set the interface to your language. In the main menu, you will see a status screen that lets you see the type and number of files that have been backed up for each PC stored on the ClickFree. The software breaks down the backup by file type, total files, and the space used by each type of file. You can also browse the files on the hard drive, search for particular files or file types, and view the pictures in the backup. Of course, the magic of the ClickFree is that you have all of these options available to you, but you don't have to use them. 99% of the users of the ClickFree will want to use it as designed, as a nearly idiot-proof backup device that can store the most important files on your desktop or laptop. The ClickFree HD801 comes with a one-year limited warranty and is available now for between $100 and $120. Now, believe it or not, we've actually had quite a few backup products come through our lab. It's just that most of them don't pass muster. They're either too difficult to understand or too expensive or, or just too hard to set up. Now, we had good sync because it was a backup that I actually enjoyed. It's a backup that I use continuously in the lab because it allows me to synchronize the data between all my devices. Now, we've also chosen the Click Free because it is one of those devices that really is simple for the rest of us. It's something that you can plug into your Windows 2000 XP or Vista computer and just have it work. It will automatically find the files that you need. Your documents, your spreadsheets, your financial databases, your pictures, your favorites, and move them to the Click Free. Now, one of the really cool things about this device is that it doesn't compress the data. It doesn't put it into some encrypted format. It is accessible on this hard drive. Actually, if you go into it through my computer, you'll be able to find all of your files in their directory structures within the individual PC folders. Now, that is not to say that this thing is perfect. The first thing that we noticed is, well, the size. I mean, 120 gigabytes is the, 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 the unit below this. 160 gigabytes is the capacity of this particular click free. We'd like to see 320 and 500 gigabytes. You know, the, the highest level of, of SATA drives that you can find. Just because if you're going to be storing 1, 2, 5, or 10 different PC images, 160 gigabytes really isn't all that uh, that much, especially when you consider how many of us have gigabytes of uh, pictures and terabytes of video. In fact, with the laptop right behind me, when we synced it up, I had to tell it not to look for video files because there is over 100 gigabytes worth of video files on that laptop, and it just would have clogged up the click free. Now, that isn't to say that it's not going to work for you. If you're a regular user, you're going to be having just a couple of gigabytes of video files, uh, maybe it's stuff that you've uploaded to YouTube, your, your pictures, your, your financial databases, the, the documents that you use on a regular basis, and this will work perfectly. Now, if you are looking for a personal backup device, if you want something that can travel with you, if you want something that's really that easy to use, might I recommend you check out the Click Free. You can find out more about this product by going to our website at www.thetechstop.net. If you click the Gadget tab, you'll be able to find all of our episodes in high resolution. If you want to find out more from us by sending us an email, you can reach us at gadget at thetechstop.net. Well, I've been your host, Father Robert Balliser. This has been the Center for Apostolic Technology. And remember, there's no Uber Geek without you.
All right, we're going to give one of these away. Now, if you want to enter the contest, it's a simple two-step process. First, you have to subscribe to Gadget's YouTube page. That's www.youtube.com forward slash Gadget TTS. That's Gadget the Tech Stop. If you've already subscribed, that's okay. Now, all you have to do is send us an email message that contains three things. First, your full real name. Second, your YouTube account. And third, your email address. Now, if you win, we'll send a confirmation to your YouTube account, so make sure that it's something that's in good standing. Now, you send that email to contest at thetechstop.net. If you want to read the full rules and regulations, you can go to www.thetechstop.net and click on the little contest tab. Good luck, and remember, there's no Uber Geek without you.